Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Turley Wild here in our TAC, our Turtle Assurance Colony on Dalton State Campus. Last week, the last episode was about do turtles hibernate? Brumate. We learned that it's called brumation. Not really hibernation, but we use them interchangeably. So last time, do they hibernate? Today, we're going to talk about do they need to? Do turtles and other reptiles need to brumate? Do they need to go down and be dormant during the winter? And well, to answer that, do they need to brumate or hibernate, whatever you want to call it, in order to be healthy? No. As far as I know, I mean, I don't know about every reptilian species, but the ones that I know of, they don't have to have dormancy to be successful in life and live. It's not like it's a necessary part of their physiological function in order for them to like rest. Some people say they need to rest or whatever, but as far as I know, I don't, I don't know every species, but the ones that I do know, they don't have to hibernate. And this is a perfect example here. We have this um, Cura flavor marginata, the yellow marginated box turtle. These are from China. We each have some from the islands in Japan and Taiwan. But this is a boy. And we have a bunch of these, about 20 of them, outside. Uh, you see that building through the door right next to that building in a pen. Now the ones outside, of course, are hibernating. It's cold. It's wintertime here in northern Georgia. But this guy had an abscess back in September. We took him to the vet. They cut it out. But we weren't going to leave him out there when everybody was getting ready to go down for the winter. And the reason is that wound would be just, I mean, it'd be an open wound. It probably wouldn't even really heal over the winter because their metabolism slows down, i.e. their immune system slows down, growth, recovery, everything slows down. So that wound would have remained probably unhealed for a long time, and then you get infections, an immune system shot in the winter, and you can have a lot of issues with that. So we didn't put him down, we kept him in here, and he's doing fine. He's loving it, he's getting food, it's warm, and we'll put him back out in the spring when it warms up, and he'll have no issues. He'll be no worse for wear, not hibernating, than those outside that did. And he'll actually maybe even put on some weight and do some growing over the winter, whereas the other ones won't. So do you need, do the turtles need to hibernate or brumate? No, they do not. They can be perfectly functional physiologically without needing to hibernate. And this guy is proof. All right. And also the other thing is, if you think about it in the wild, you have certain species that have a very broad distribution. Like some will be, like I think of painted turtles here in the U.S. You can get them up into Canada where they hibernate for a long time, maybe six months. Now different subspecies, but still the same species, down here in Georgia and southern Georgia. And they might, in southern Georgia, they might not hibernate at all. Or they might go down for a couple of days when it gets cool and they come back out and it warms up. So even in nature, there's variation depending on what population the animal lives in. So for flavor marginata, they tend to live in an area that's cooler, but there's also a population down in southern Guangdong, well, kind of southeastern Guangdong along the ocean that stays pretty warm. And that population there probably doesn't hibernate. And if they do, it's a very short period of time. So no, turtles and other reptiles do not have to hibernate. This is a good example. 